Hi everyone, my name is Felix and today I want to show you a new R package called Tremendous. Tremendous can be used um, to standardize taxonomical names of tree species. Um, so for instance, there are different, <clears throat> there exist different taxonomical backbones worldwide and each of them uh, is a little bit disagreeing with each other. So instead of saying we trust only this one backbone, um, this package leverages the information and relationships across all these backbones uh, and should help you standardize your tree species names. So let's have a look at the package and go through a short example. When we open R, um, we have to prepare our input species list in a certain way. So for instance, we have here uh, two to three species names, and we have to split this input list uh, into a table um, with two columns, genus and species. That's how the inputs should look like for the package. So let's go ahead and load the package. With the package comes an example data set called the FIA. So we have a bit more than 2000 tree species names from the US Forest Inventory and Analysis Program. So <clears throat> now let's try to match these. Um, the first and most important function of the package is called matching. Um, so when we look at the help page here, uh, it says it matches species names according to tremendous.trees, so the internal um, database merging the three, uh, the four different backbones. When I open this tremendous.trees, it's available here. You always have like the name uh, and then you see in which of the backbones uh, this species appeared and some more metadata. So let's, let's go ahead. Um, we provide the input species list to the matching function and specify which backbone we want to trust. So here, for instance, uh, we have BGCI, a list of tree species. <clears throat> there is another function called summarize results. And when you do this, it gives a, a nice summary. So we see that um, around 350 of the tree species names in our input um, could not be matched uh, against BGCI. So we can also, when we look now at the result, um, we see we have the original input species names and the matched names. And there also comes uh, some more metadata with it when you look at the, at the full table. <clears throat> okay, now 350 species that were not able to be matched um, is, is not ideal. So we can use another function called enforce matching. Uh, where we try to increase um, this number of matched species. So what the function uh, essentially does is, um, so it, it is called after uh, we call matching, we can call enforce matching with the result of the matching function. And then it takes all the unmatched species and looks at the synonym acceptance relations in the other backbones. Um, so WFO, WCVP, and GBIF, and tries to find a path from the input name to a name uh, that is in, in our target database, BGCI. Let's now have a look at the results. <clears throat> and we can see indeed that um, many more species were, uh, were matched. And more specifically, almost 300 species names were matched using the enforce matching function. Um, but now let's see if this uh, these matches make, make any sense. So uh, we filter here for all the matches that were matched using enforce matching and look again at the input species names and the matched species names. And we see, for instance, here that obvious Shostensis was matched to obvious Magnifica, which is then in BGCI. Or, for instance, we here have different acacia um, species, which were matched to a different genus, Vachelia. Um, 
to understand a little bit better how how this works, we can have a look at the original Tremendous um, database, which merges these four different backbones and see how enforced matching came up with these matches. So <clears throat> we started with obvious Shostensis, and we see here it's not in BGCI, but it's in the other three backbones. And then the function sort of realizes that it looks at the other backbones. So for instance, WCVP and sees here, um, obvious justensis for WCVP is considered a synonym of the accepted species, obvious magnifica. Um, and we can have a look here at the metadata. And the same is true uh, in the GBIF backbone, but also in the WFO backbone. So this idea um, are identical. Okay, <clears throat> another common functionality that we need is that after matching, uh, we want to resolve the synonyms. So matching might end up um, at species names, which are um, synonyms and not accepted names. So we can call resolve synonyms um, to translate it to the accepted versions. Here, we now specify a different backbone, for instance, um, so WFO. When we now look at the results, um, here we can see that two additional columns were added, uh, named accepted genus and accepted species, um, which contain uh, the accepted version of the names and translates the synonyms to the accepted names. The last function I want to show you is called translate trees. So often um, you might want to integrate different data sources for your analysis. And instead of standardizing each of these um, data sources according to one specific backbone, it might be more um, appropriate to use to use the function translate trees, which directly tries to find the link between your input species names and your own custom target database through all the connections in the existing backbones. So let's have a look. We have um, three different we have three different input species here and three target species here. And commonly one could standardize both the inputs and the targets uh, according to a certain backbone. And if we do this for this specific set of species, we see that um, we don't uh, we don't we don't end up with the same species names. And this this might might make sense, for instance. Um, but when we use translate trees, we say, okay, we have the inputs and we want to match it to this specific target. So it tries to find a way uh, a connection between the synonym and accepted relations in the other backbones um, to go from the input to the target species. So mm -hmm. let's do that. Essentially, translate trees is a match, uh, is a wrapper around the functions matching and enforce matching, uh, as you can see here. And when we now have a look at uh, results, we can indeed see that the input species list were successfully translated uh, to our target species list. So that's about it. Um, the package can be found on GitHub um, and installed with the with the DevTools library and the command install GitHub. And I'm very happy to hear about your use case. So if you have a question or a comment, just uh, raise a GitHub issue directly. Thanks, bye.